Once upon a time, there lived a handsome, handsome young man named Gasson. He needed a prom date, so he made a sign and went to work. Will you go to prom with him? No, I have a date. Will you go to prom with him? Will you go to prom with him? No. Yes. Five minutes later. Faith, will you go to prom with him? Back away, back away. No, I can't do this. <laughs> Kaylee, will you go to prom with me? No. <laughs> All right, you know what? I give up. I guess no one wants to take me to prom. Oh no, poor Gasson. He couldn't find a date to prom. He was so fed up with all the rejections he got, he decided to go to the only place he knew he would never be rejected. God, I've been rejected. Nobody wants to go to prom with me. But I know you'll never reject me. Please stand for the prayer and pledge. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless us with love, O merciful God, that we may love as you love, that we may show patience, tolerance, kindness, caring, and love to all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, in the visible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best Friday ever, Bishop Gourmet? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, Bishop Gorman. I'm Jackson Taylor. And I'm Taya Thompson. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. Today is Friday, April 22nd, and in case you didn't know, it's time for the prom show. Not only is tomorrow the prom dance, today is Earth Day. So don't forget to pick up some trash in order to keep our planet a safe place. We only get one Earth, so it's vital we protect it. I love to hike and run, but everyone celebrates Earth Day in their own way. Tierney Morton and the president of the Sustainability Society, Emily Rowland, are going to show us how they celebrate Earth Day and how to help our planet. Roll the clip. A day in the life Earth Day edition. Let's get to it. First, we start off our morning with a hike. The next place that we went to was a local cafe. Supporting local businesses to help the environment, economy, and the community. This is the farmer's market. Happening every Saturday at DTS, the farmer's market is a great place to get local produce from local vendors. We stopped by to get some bread, flowers, and strawberries. Then we decided to buy some ingredients for our recipe. We got cauliflower, carrots, zucchini, and bell peppers. Happy Earth Day to all the students at Bishop Gorman. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, stick to the script, and take care of Mother Earth. Before we left, we tried those strawberries and the Jamaica juice. Back at home, we relaxed outside of nature and read a book. Then we decided to ride our bikes and play in nature. After relaxing in nature, we decided to make a recipe with ingredients that we bought. We first chopped up all of the vegetables. Then we sauteed them in a bunch of spices. Then we served them with a side of tofu and it was delicious. This meal is all plant-based. 
Did you know that if one person goes plant-based for one day, they can save up to 40 pounds of grain, 1,100 gallons of water, 30 square feet of forest, and one animal? There are other ways to save the earth, including reducing unnecessary water usage and practicing using water efficiently. Farmers markets are also a way to shop locally and it helps cut your carbon footprint. You protect what you love. If you love nature, you'll want to protect it. So it's super important to incorporate spending time outside into your everyday life. I love the earth and I also love how close the seniors are to graduation. Graduation is just around the corner and that means a lot of us are going to college next year. And Anya Guruaj and Sarah Locke spoke with some seniors with age old question, where are you going to college? What's up girls? We asked our seniors where they're going to college and what they're majoring in. Let's see what they said. I'm going to the University of Utah and I'm majoring in mechanical engineering. I'm going to UC Davis and I'm majoring in microbiology. I'm going to the University of Oregon's Honors College and I'm majoring in neuroscience and business. I'm going to the University of Michigan and my major is political science. I'm going to North Central College and I'm majoring in biology. I'm going to Georgetown and I'm majoring in neurobiology. I'm going to UNLV for soccer and my major is kinesiology. I'm going to Pepperdine University to study business management. I'm going to UC Berkeley for film and media. I'm going to the University of St. Andrews and I'm majoring in psychology. I'm going to Purdue University and my major is biology. Chapman University for screenwriting. I'm going to UC Berkeley and my major is international relations. I'm going to the University of Notre Dame and my planned major is finance and personal equity. I'm going to Chapman University for documentary film production. Woo! The University of San Diego in political science. I'm going to University of Arizona and my major is computer science. Uh, George Washington, uh, criminal justice. I'm going to Penn State and I'm majoring in psychology. I'm going to the University of Tennessee and I'm majoring in biomedical engineering. I'm going to Texas Christian University to study psychology. I'm going to UC San Diego and I'm going to major in economics. I'm Norman. Good luck in college, seniors. That's so amazing, Gales. I can't wait to see what the future holds for the class of 22. This week has been all themed around Van Gogh's Starry Night. In case you want to know more about it, Taya Thompson and Faith Mohawks hosted Clash of Classes with Mr. Geiger and Ms. Barron's fourth period class to see what they know. What's up, BG? Welcome back to another episode of Clash of Classes. And on today's episode, we had an art trivia competition between Ms. Barron's fourth period class and Mr. Geiger's fourth period. Okay, so what appendage did Vincent Van Gogh cut off? Okay, that is correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Which famous painter was also a sculptor, an architect, and an engineer? Is that your final answer? That is incorrect. Is that your final answer? That is correct. What year did Vincent Van Gogh Okay, that, is that your final answer? Okay, it's 1889. 1889. That's, wait, that's a tie! The Van Gogh Museum is located in what European capital city? That is correct. That's so crazy, he cut his own ear off. Van Gogh is one of the many stars of our prom week, and the others are the members of the 2022 prom court. Tay Thompson and Megan Wallace spoke with the members to learn more about them. Let's go see what they're all about. No, we not looking to change. Hand on the wheel. They think we lacking the drive. Boy, you should stay in your lane. Put on the gas. I do not care if I crash. Long as I stick to the plan. What is the plan? I cannot lie for none of you. Long as I know who I am. I'm in control. God got his hand on my soul. And if I land it, he got the remote. Made it as far as a miracle. Miracle. Anything less is cynical. Cynical. Staying true, I can't lie in your interview. Tell the truth while you lie with your interview. And you're acting so hypocritical. In control, nothing more than minimum. Can't stop now. I'm a grind till I'm close. I think 
God, how he held me down the most. Can't stop now, gotta grind till I'm post. Gotta thank God, how he held me down the most. Jackson, I'm so excited to see their skit performances later today. It's one of my favorite parts of prom week. Jackson, what's your favorite part? The dress days are always fun, but I'm really looking forward to tomorrow night's dance. But Taya, I have a secret. Oh no, what happened now? I can't dance. Well, you're in luck. I have a solution. Yusuf Shami, Sarah Locke, and others had a dance lesson with Mrs. Lemos to show you some moves before tomorrow's big dance. What's up, Foreman? Prom is literally tomorrow, and I know that none of you know how to slow dance. So we came to the expert. We came to Miss Lemos. She's going to show us, and you, how to slow dance. All right, so I'm going to teach you a few steps to do when you're slow dancing so that you don't make a fool of yourself at prom. Okay, all right. So, so slow dancing, right, it's all about finding the beat. The first choice, when in doubt, sway. You'll sway one, two, three, four. Step touch. We're doing the exact same shift of weight, but this time this foot is just going to come over with like a little bit, like a touch. Thanks guys, that will really come in handy at tomorrow's dance. Prom week isn't the only thing that's been going on this week. Sports have been booming as always here at the G. Let's pass the ball over to Angelica Garvey to see what's been happening. Angelica? What's up, BG? I'm Angelica Garvey and sports have been busy here at the G. Let's take a look. Our baseball team is killing it right now. Last week, they played in our All Faith Classic Baseball Tournament, winning all of their games. Now the team is currently ranked number four in the nation. Congrats, boys. They also played on Wednesday, winning 14 to zero, as well as on Thursday against Spring Valley, winning 15 to zero. Keep it up, boys. Our golf team also won on Wednesday in their local matches. The boys and girls track team also won their meet on Wednesday. Congrats, everybody. They have another meet on Saturday at the Skyhawk Invitational. Let's bring it home, Gales. The men's varsity lacrosse team played Wednesday against Centennial, going into overtime, winning 12 to 11. They played again yesterday against Coronado, losing to 14 to 10, and will play again on Saturday against Santa Margarita. Good luck, boys. Our girls team also played on Tuesday, winning 15 to 11. Nice job, ladies. Finally, congratulations to all the players who signed to their colleges this past Wednesday. That's all I have for you, Gorman. Keep it real, BG. Don't forget, tomorrow's dance is a lock-in from 7.30 to 9.30, so be sure to plan accordingly. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Bishop Gorman. I'm Taya Thompson. And I'm Jackson Taylor. And, and this, this is, is your BG TV. TV. Happy, Happy prom, BG! BG.